Hello and welcome, I hope you're having a great day or evening and it might even get better because today we are playing Isle of Swaps, a trading card deck building roguelike, quite similar to Pokemon, the trading card game, but this way it's not called Pokemon, but critters we are playing as. We have two game modes, a challenge run, which is a roguelike or roguelite gameplay mode and a championship, since through the roguelike gameplay we gain cards and can build master decks so every character we have different characters to choose from have each one has a deck and we can build that up on our own with three critters and then we use skill cards but i don't want to go too much into detail because i just want to start out with a new run so each character here we have four characters to choose from have different special abilities i'll pick dotty his third skill card during a turn will be used twice i will pick this character right here so every critter has a power and defensive numbers so this one has four attack power one defense and battle start gain three power for three turns so this one will have seven for the first three turns and then we have a starting battle deck right here i will just start off and here we are against lena lena i love the nature park as it's always so calm blah 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 blah. this one just places a hand drawn a childishly hand drawn i mean childishly i cannot draw any better myself but this is basically our map we have eight challenges in front of us, so the eighth challenge would be the boss fight against Lena herself. And she places three cards in front of us, we pick one root. So this one shows us which element we will encounter. And we could either battle this wild critter and then we can obtain this critter right here, so the card on the left. Or we battle another player and then swap cards with them. It's called Isle of Swaps for a reason. So let's start and here we have three places where we could place critters. Right now we only have one as well as the enemy only has one. We can see their cards which they will use after we use our three cards because we can only play three cards. Except this card right here, Terra Energy, doesn't use a card to play, gain one Terra Energy. So here we have the energy bar, let's use that one, and now we have one Terra Energy. For this card right here, we need one Terra and one whichever energy. So I want to gain more Terra Energy, let's use this one right here, gain two Terra Energy, gain one defense for three turns. And now we have the special ability of Dotty, meaning every third card, also every sixth and ninth card, but never got to that amount of cards in a turn, will be played twice. So if we play this one, attack opposite critter for power plus two, so nine. The Go Goja, Goja, this character right here, this critter right here, has no defense, so nine straight damage gain one crit let's use this we hit them twice why was it more than nine did i miscalculate power plus two that should be nine damage why did he get 14 damage i have no clue but i'll just finish the right the, the fight gain a couple of gold coins and now we can swap with our enemy so let's swap cards. This is all the cards we can swap with him. So here we have sticker cards, which are basically artifact special cards. Status effect is applied to critters are immune to shock and shock and stun. Battle start every five turns. Your critters gain one dodge. That's a nice card because dodging means we negate one attack completely. Every turn, opposite spot loses one defense for three turns. Okay, that is a special area card. Go to attack, opposite critter for plus eight, power plus eight damage if they have taunt. Damn. I'll pick this one. And we could also 
look at this critter right here. When hit attacker loses one power for three turns. Hmm. Nope, I'm fine with those two. Let's start swapping because we swap against our cards. So here we have the swap value of three because this one, either one of those is has a swap value of two and the other has a swap value of one. So here we have our cards. This is the value of our cards. I will pick these three times, swap for these, and now we have them in our deck. Or we have them in our binder, we need to add them to our deck. Luckily there is a smart filter right here, so we can use this. And where are the stickers? There's the sticker card, we place it here. Here we see sticker 1SP, so one sticker point. We can only use up to 15 sticker points. Let's move on to the next area. This is a wild critter right here, attack opposite critter. This is a critter, if we use that, we get the card erosion as well. Attack opposite critter for power plus five, opposite critter loses one defense. Jesus, that's a good card. I want to have that. No, let's dive in. Come on. I also like the music of the game. It just reminds me of the old days of Pokemon. So, what do I want to do? I want to attack here. Hit twice. Perfect. And then we still have one card left. Use Goaded for 13 damage. Except it was seven. Am I missing something here? Why? 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 This is why was it so low? Okay. Echo loses one power for three times. Every time we hit him, we lose power, which is not very good. We can also swap our cards. So right here we have two swaps available, so I want to swap this out for the next card, yes. Let's pick this one, gain two Terra Energy, now we can use Focus Strike, and now we can also use Goaded. One, one more health left, which is fine. We dodge the first hack and he heals for free damage. damage him at all because he has three armor and I won't have enough damage so I will just swap out and yeah stop our turn exactly because he cannot damage us enough because we resist him we resist the uh, earth damage so minus three damage whenever he hits us with three armor basically he needs to hit us for seven or more with one power it's not possible for him so he can go and <clears throat> himself and i'll end my turn and now we gain our power back wonderful let's wait for the third card and use twice perfect so we got this critter now and can basically put him into our deck. We could use him, then we need to fill up our deck with more skill cards. Said we, well, we do have enough cards to do that. Do I want to? Yes, let's, let's just play with two critters from now on. And we can also now visit the shop we have three coins, we can also visit the booster machine. I know for a fact that the booster machine requires six coins at the minimum. So we can't buy anything, but in the shop, yes, we could, for example, buy sticker cards right here. Or this card, meditate, gain two terra energy, gain one critical. Critical just means the next attack is increased in damage. Battle Star and the Critters gain one random buff. Battle Star and all enemy Critters gain two shock. So, shock is a passive debuff. Lose one HP per two shock when using a skill card. 
not very valuable in our deck because we don't use the shock ability. I'll pick this and this. And we could also go to the signature machine because every critter has a signature card. So market, for example, uses focus strike. We know that card and the erosion, very powerful card. We cannot buy it now, damn it. <clears throat> I should have visited this machine beforehand. But, well, I'm not the smartest person in the room and I'm currently alone in the room, so take that smart phrase. <clears throat> so, two critters right here. Battle start gain four taunt, so all enemy critters attack this critter. Hmm. Do I want to have this card as a tank or... No, I will fight against him and hopefully gain cool cards to swap. So let's go. And the music basically brings me back to the 90s when I'm playing Pokemon. What a great time. So, what can I do? I will first finish him off because whenever we attack him, we lose power. I want to finish him off first and then slowly take him down. Oh no, he will use gone will use taunt in the next turn, so I want to damage him as much as possible. Um I want to use this card for the third card, Dauntly, so let's hit him once. Now we attack him twice. Perfect. We don't have a card left, so move on and we can also swap our cards so if we go for example to here he will attack his opposing crit so he will be hit meaning he will hit him I mean he's taunting so wherever my kid would be even if it would be in this area he's the crit which would gain all the damage. Jesus. Words are difficult. So let's look. Don't we have a card that says if. Hmm. That card from Ropa. Yes, Goaded would be amazing in this area because if the critter has taunt, we would deal plus 8 damage. We don't have it yet. So let's just him twice perfect and wait for the next turn because hopefully we will gain goaded in the next turn so do we have goaded yes we have goaded perfect because he has taunt so this will deal a truck ton of damage and i will do that twice because now third card I will swap him out and attack him for three because now his power won't be reduced anymore. He will attack all enemy critters and attack opposing critter for damage. We have resist here and a lot of armor. We should be fine. Yes, only two health damage. That's fine. So. <laughs> I will hit him. We have a lot of energy. I will use this to gain crit. I will use this to gain more crit and finish him off with erosion. And that's basically how the game works because we will fight against other enemies, swap cards with them and gain cards this way, which we can then use in the championship, the critter championship. And that's basically how Isle of Swaps works. Thanks for watching. I hope you had a lovely time. If not, thanks for sticking with me anyway. I'll just visit the shop and buy the erosion card twice because I like 
this coin right here. Yes, spend all the coins and I wish you a great day or evening. See you next time.